Hi, I'm Tom Poulin at the Poulin Design Center, and this is Laureen uh, Johnson. She's my sister and our Design Center Manager, and um, we just wanted to take a few minutes out of our day to thank all of our customers for over 38 years of building jobs for you guys, kitchens and baths, and so um, as we come upon Thanksgiving, we wanted to to share with you a family tradition. And so, uh, what better way to do that than to make Laureen's famous cranberry, cranberry salad. salad. So we're gonna do that for you right now. And uh, so Laureen, why don't you show us how this is done and just, I'll help out however you want. Fabulous. So first of all, this is my famous cranberry salad. It made me famous at Thanksgiving. Hopefully it'll make you famous at your Thanksgiving dinners. Um, first we have all fresh ingredients. We, um, it is a jello salad, so it's, it's, um, it's kind of a sweet dessert. You can use it as that or just kind of like a, a cranberry relish. We have pomegranates. We have lots of fresh things in it, pomegranates, blackberries, some raspberries, fresh cranberries, some celery, We've got um, pecans, some apples, and some fresh pears, and, um, and let's get started. So Tom, if you'll chop up those, I'll go ahead and get this started over here. We've already went ahead and um, made the jello, heated it up hot, and we've already dissolved the cherry jello. We use cherry, you can use cherry, you can use raspberry. We're gonna use a half a cup of our pecans in here. Chop it up in your in your Cuisinart if you have one. It's nice to have Tom along to be my shoe chef. Usually I'm in his kitchen helping out well, doing this. I don't know if I'm much of a chef, but I can cut some stuff up. Can mix it up just a little bit. Chop it up so it's fine. Mix it fast. So this is generally the first thing that that uh, gets finished up at Thanksgiving at our house. Yeah, because it takes time. You have to prepare it the night before, so it's kind of nice. So then that way you're not preparing everything all at one time in the morning. So if you can do this the night before or a couple days before, you're also going to take two packages, a 12, oops, a 12 ounce package of the cranberries. And these are fresh cranberries, so they have a nice tartness to them. Pop those babies up real nice and, and fine. Right there we have a half a cup of orange juice and also a half a cup uh, of sugar but I took that sugar down to a fourth of a cup because I like the, the all the um, fruits to do their own thing Oops. great stir that up there Tom and here put that in there like that Awesome. Mix that all up real nice. And one of the things I think that makes this salad is also um, the fresh cranberries. So having the fresh cranberries, I mean the fresh uh, pomegranates is a real nice touch. Um, one of the hardest things is, is getting out those little, little bitty pomegranates. So we're gonna stick those in the salad as well. We need that for garnish on top. Yeah, this looks good. Doesn't that look yummy? I kind of think the more things that you add in this salad, the better it gets. 
So we're going to go ahead and put in those, those cranberries and those pomegranates. We're going to toss in some of these beautiful black raspberries and the blackberries. We're going to save a little bit for the garnish. Grab the... You're doing a good job there, Tom. I guess our mom taught us well, huh, in the kitchen? That's for sure. All right. Go ahead and mix those I up. I think she rubbed off more on you than me, though. <laughs> <laughs> we make a good team, as we do here at the Poolin Design Center. It's fun working with family. All right. So, find a pretty bowl. Um, you know, something that you would like to go ahead and and, um, and use uh, for display. We're going to go ahead and, and use this pretty white one here. We'll have Tom go ahead and stir those the rest of those um, pears up. I used some red pears in there as well. You can add um, oranges, you can add pears, you can add things that you would enjoy. Sure. Man, I can smell all that fresh ingredients. Doesn't it smell good? Mm-hmm. And this makes a nice, you know, a nice uh, helping for, you know, a group. So you really don't have to double the recipe. And we'll put the recipe up on our post here. And you just get it all even down in there. And then you can decorate the top with some garnish if you'd like. And then just put on the blackberries around it. Um, you can also put some of the Let's do it. pomegranates on the top. You know, presentation is everything, Tom. <laughs> I don't know. It's, to me, it's how it tastes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll put a few of these raspberries on top here. Yes, you can sample. <laughs> Got to sample, right? Got to sample the raspberries, right? Those are amazing. Aren't those great? All the beautiful, bountiful harvest. I hope all of you whose kitchens that we've done over the years here are enjoying this tradition in your kitchens with your families. Kitchen is our heart of a home. Oh, look at that, Tom. Yeah, that's look awesome. at our masterpiece, see? We just yeah, have been famous. I know all of you have your own family uh, recipes, and if you'd like to message them to us, we'd love to try them out. And so uh, just message us, and we'd, uh, we'd love to, to try them. And uh, so we're so thankful for all of you. Uh, we're grateful for uh, the many years of business. And uh, if you all are looking for that kitchen next year, uh, give us a call and uh, we'd be happy to get it started for you. So happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Well, oh. let's try this out. I know, this has gotta be great. Mm. Mm, what do you think, Tom? Well, I knew what it was going to taste like. Uh, I know, huh? I yeah. should know that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's I was always great to taste good. it. Mm. I like eating this better than pumpkin pie. So. Me too. It's the best part of Thanksgiving. <laughs>